Now from Eyewitness Sports, this is the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. Already week eight of the Friday Night Blitz. Crazy. Ruthie Polinski, Yanni Krakis, Maury Hirschkorn will join us in a bit. It's November, crazy to believe. It was cold out tonight. Really cold. Uh, playoffs just around the corner. In fact, they already began in mass, but for D1 and D2, final regular season week. One more week of regular season in Rhode Island in Division 3 and 4, but tonight we start with a prime time matchup in D3, Narragansett and Pilgrim, with the winner locking up the number one seed. And we have to start by saying hi to one of our most loyal Channel 12 viewers, Claudia Highgrove. Senior night, member of the Narragansett cheerleading squad. Always so good to see her. And Pilgrim head coach Blake Simpson mic'd up a little bit later on in the show. First drive for the Patriots here. Mike Borges fakes the handoff, finds a hole, breaks some tackles, and he's into the end zone. It's 6-0 Pilgrim right away. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Borges this time handoff to Dimitri Ayers. That puts Pilgrim up 12-0. Narragansett finding some life. Eddie Blessing. Finding Colby Corson. That's a 19 yard <laughs> touchdown. Yes, it is. Gans it within a score, but Pilgrim, the better team tonight. Defense doing their job on fourth down. Caesar Pasquale with a big sack. Pilgrim handing Narragansett their first loss. Patriots are still undefeated. 48 13 the final. I know another set pair team that's called the Patriots undefeated. <laughs> D1 action, Cranston West senior night. Needing a win over EP and a loss by Portsmouth tomorrow to get into the state Super Bowl right to the second half. Cam Mavs to Matt Carvalho. He dives through the end zone just a yard short. No worries. Next play, Brennan Stetson punches it in. West goes up 27 to 6. Townies fumble the ensuing kickoff. Uh oh, and the Falcons cash in. Alves fumbles a snap, goes this right, nothing there. Breaks the tackle, goes left, what? and finds his favorite guy, what? Caravello, in the end zone. No. West wins 41 28. They now await the Portsmouth Moses Brown game tomorrow for their Super Bowl fate. Still front runner for the Heisman. Senior night for LaSalle going for a one seed in the D1 state tournament, taking on Barrington. First drive for the Rams, handing it to Steven Doss. Surveys, cuts outside, he's coming your way. 75 yards, the touchdown, Rams quickly up 7-0. Defense also doing their job tonight. Senior Liam Holy Let's with go. the sack. That forces an Eagles punt. Second drive for LaSalle quarterback Nate Lucier. Beating a man to the corner, LaSalle gets the win. 48-7, but they'll be a two seed. Quinn Miller serving as an honorary captain Quinn. for Hendrickson tonight. What a week for her. Hawks already in the Super Bowl hosting Shea. Raiders have secured the two seed in the D1 bracket. Hawks up 7-0. James Goldwolf on the carry into the end zone for the green and gold. Raiders answer. No surprise to Jalen Smith on the screen pass. Zigzags his way through the defense and eventually finds the sideline. The hometown hero is gone to pay dirt, but Hawks offense keeps moving it. Camella to Angel Sanchez. What a grab by our former hometown hero. Ooh. Hendrickson finishes 8 0, 34 14. Shocker, they're Super Bowl bound. Angel always so humble. Not a ton at stake for North Kingstown tonight. The Kippers secured the top seed in D1 tournament hosting Cranston East. Skipper's up big in the second half, and they add to it. Donovan Carr in at quarterback. He'll keep it for himself. And if you lose him here, that's okay because <laughs> I did too. But we will catch up with him again as he makes his way into the end zone. NK up 42 to nothing. The Skippers force the Bolts to punt. They get the ball back. Christopher Inverso takes the carry. And look at this, Yanni. He's number 49. That's how many points NK scored. 49-8 win over Cranston East. It's on to the D1 playoffs where they'll try to repeat. Good regular season for NK. Playoff seating at stake between St. Ray's and Cumberland. Second half, Saints down 21-7. Devin O'Malley swings it to Kai Mirbach. He goes untouched for the end zone, 21-13. St. Ray's get the ball back. Driving, trying to tie this thing with the Clippers, make a huge defensive play. Football out, Xavier Johnson there on the recovery. The Clippers able to kneel on this one. Dante Avila Santos, the senior, enjoying his final game, kissing midfield. Cumberland onto the playoffs, 21 to 13. We're fighting Josh Limas. Yeah, he was good last week, wasn't he? Was he was good. Final regular season week in D1 and D2 let's, for the D2 action. Let's go to Maury Hirsch Gordon for all the action. Hi, Maury. Guys, the top seed in Division II playoffs secured by East Greenwich, but Lincoln still with a chance at the number two seed. They need a win tonight and a Rodgers loss tomorrow against Woonsocket. Lions on their home turf this afternoon welcoming Coventry. We were knotted at seven in the opening quarter. Randall Hine rolls outside. 
Nick Tora will come down with the ball in between two Oakers. 13-7 Lincoln. Ensuing possession for Coventry. They swing it out with the swing pass. Screen pass, I should say. Aiden Murtha comes up with the pick, and that leads to points. Handoff to junior John Jaramillo. He pushes his way into the end zone. Lincoln rolls big, 48-14. All right, EG, the top seed in D2 visiting Johnston. Avengers right to work early in the first quarter. Conrad Swanson and Grant Driscoll on the slant, 7-0 EG. Panthers first possession. They go down quietly. Quarterback scrambling. Tries to pull a Cam Alves, but it's Matt Lachardi <laughs> tracking him down. We see the running back making offensive plays usually in all the highlights. Tonight it was on the defensive side of the ball. After a punt, one more time, the connection. Swanson to Driscoll back in the end zone. EG caps off a perfect regular season, 43-16. Lastly in D2, West Warwick and Classical, both out of playoff contention. Looking for a win before Thanksgiving. Purple up early. They add to it. Jalen Dennis to Shalom. Peta busts through the line down the sideline, tiptoeing the sideline into the end zone. He thinks he's got six, but the refs actually call it back. Stepped out of bounds, no worries. Next play, Dennis up top to Marquise Buchanan. Classical rolls over West Warwick, 49 to six. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues. Welcome back to the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. Ruthie and Yanni and Maury. Playoffs underway in mass. Let's start in Division 7. Seacock making the short trip over to Case. This was a good one. Low yes, scoring. It was. But good defense. Late second quarter Warriors go for it on fourth down. Hard running from Robbie LeBeau as he picks up the first. But that drive stalls right before the half. Still scoreless. Case finally with the right play call as Daniel Silva connects with Keegan. LeCompte, he has gone to the end zone. Case goes up 7-0 at the break, but Seekonk forces overtime and then gets the game winner in the extra se session. It's Seekonk moving on 13-7. Somerset hosting Hanover in the D5 South playoffs, and this was wild at the end. Indians had a 13-7 lead. Last chance for the Raiders. Fourth down, Brandon Medeiros' pass mm. is incomplete, but wait. Okay. There's a flag. Okay. New set of downs for Somerset, and they cash in. Medeiros to Robert Shaker, 14 yards for the score. Raiders take the lead. Hanover gets the ball back, crosses the 50, but Fernando Soloranzo puts an end to this one. The strip and fumble recovery. Somerset Berkeley advances mm. to the next round, 15 to 12 over Hanover. All these games low scoring. Attleboro on the road at Franklin, scoreless first half. Jason Weir on the carry for the Bombardiers, and he moves the chains, but that drive stall. Attleboro's offense struggling a bit. Defense doing its part. Attleboro comes up with a big interception here, but it's Franklin shutting him out. Franklin moves on 14 to nothing. Tollgate looking to lock in their playoff place hosting Davies tonight. Titans with the lead in the second half. Big gainer here, Joe Pankowitz. Hands it off to Elijah Aguilar. He goes right, swings all the other mm. way. Big gainer would mean another Titan first down. A few plays later, same two hooking up. This time, Elijah finding the end zone. Tollgate locks up a playoff spot with their 46-14 win over Davies. All right, every week on the Blitz, we take you inside the huddle and on the sidelines for our mic'd up segment. This week, Pilgrim head coach Blake Simpson, also known as Blizzy, Blizzy Blake, Blake, for his Twitter handle, doing the honors as his Patriots visit, visited Narragansett for our game of the week. Ru Ruthie just got me saying that this guy sucks. <laughs> I'm mic'd up. Oh, no, oh, no way. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> I already, I already forgot. <laughs> that was nasty. Hey, that was great. That was great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Gate. Why is it third down already? Because our, because we ran a play and then we just ran another play, so now it's third down. I didn't see. You're, you're totally going to be on the news tonight. Wave to the camera. Go, 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 go. First down, first down, first down, first down. Hey, and, and we only had 10 guys on the field. 
Hey, we only had 10 guys on that. Hey, you didn't, you didn't see a hold on our tight end that one? All right. That'll do it for the Blitz with Ruthie Plinsky. I'm Yanni Crocus. All the highlights on WPRI.com. Our band of the week, Cranston West, playing Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Good night.